Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Album, and I'm an illustrator in San Francisco. I love Andy Warhol so much so that I dressed up as him for Halloween one year. And I thought today's activity would be really fun to do some Rorschach tests. Uh, you can show them to family or people you're staying with or even six feet away. Or you can also uh, just do them for fun, for cards. You And we're going to do one activity at the end where you turn them into another kind of drawing. Uh, things you're going to need today are ink. This is some Doc Martens, but you could also use black ink if you have it. If you don't have ink and you're at home and sheltered in place, something else that you could use would be food coloring or watercolor paint as long as it's very dark. Even coffee or tea would work for this as long as you make sure that it's a very, very dark brew. Um, as long, if it's liquid, then it's going to work and an eyedropper is preferable. Um, but if you don't have an eyedropper, then you can use a brush for this as well. Go ahead and get some paper when you're doing this. I recommend not using printer paper. It's too thin, but if that's all you have, that's all you have. And um, something with a little bit of tooth to pick up the, the liquid would be great. And a paper towel on hand is also really helpful. For the last part of this, I'm going to show you something that you can do with pens, pencils, whatever else you have lying around with your Rorschach test. And I hope that this is something that brightens the time inside. All right, thanks, bye. Okay, now we're gonna start our Rorschach test. And what you need to do is take out your piece of paper. I prefer it um, landscape so that when I fold it, I have um, more space on each side for the ink to spread out. You need your ink or whatever you're gonna use. You can use a palette that I have right here or um, any kind of dish to put your ink in if you don't have it in a container already. Then you're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the ink and using your, using your eyedropper, I start on the left side of the page because I'm gonna fold it from the right and you're just gonna dab, just drop some little droplets. You can get a little loose with it, put them close together, doesn't matter. Get a little bit more, whatever you want. And then, okay. Then you're gonna take your piece of paper. Oops. And you're gonna, oops, and that's fine. It does not matter, Mess, messing up is good here. And then fold it in half. Seal it a little bit to get it to really smash. And if any of your ink comes out on the sides, like mine is starting to do that just a little bit right there, that's where you take your paper towel, dab it, get it, pick it up, and then you're gonna unfold it. And that's the beginning of your little test. And you can leave it like that, you could add to it. Um, we're gonna let them dry for right now. Okay, now I'm gonna show you an example with color in case you don't have black ink at home. This is some Doc Martens and um, it's in mahogany. It's like a purple pink color. And we're gonna do the same thing we just did. Take our piece of paper, drop some little droplets on it from the left side. Take the page, fold it from right to left. Spread it out. You can almost see all your paint down there. And then open it back up. And you've got another one. Once your Rorschach test has dried, you can decide if you want to add some more to it. And I'm going to turn these into an illustration of two snails because I think that's what they look like. Um, you can do this using any materials that you have at home certainly not required. I am going to use some gouache and a brush right now, but you are welcome to do it with pencil, pen, highlighter, whatever you've got lying around. So I have some paint here. I'm just going to go ahead and mix a little bit. And I've already looked up photos on the computer of uh, different kinds of snails because that's what I think they look like. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding some details to them. So Snails often have those rings around them, so I'm going to go ahead and add the spiral to the shell. And this does not have to be perfect because that's the beauty of organic objects in the world. 
I'm imagining it's some kind of snail out in nature. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some more little rings to him. And once you've done a little bit of that, which I might keep going a little bit, or not, <laughs> and I think some of the less perfect lines make it look more interesting. And once we've done a little bit of that, I'm going to add a little eye where I think my little snail's antenna are and face, and maybe even a few little spots on this one. go over here and I'm going to do the other snail that I've looked up other shapes and patterns and I'm going to go ahead and do something similar on the other side. look like little shells. Well, I guess snails do have sn snail shells. But I'm going to go ahead and add some finer lines in between here. But really, it doesn't matter which shape you choose to make. It's just a little bit of line work on top of your previous ink drawing. And in this case, I used a lighter pigment. So you could even do this with white out or um, anything, a jelly roll, something that maybe has a, a lighter tone to it, value. And then I'm gonna go on top of here. And I think she needs a little pattern. I've decided she's a she. <laughs> Maybe they're two love snails. And you could make these into greeting cards or just for fun. Put them in your window. And this one's gonna get a little eyeball too. And I think my snails are in a yard somewhere, so I'm just gonna go ahead and before this is done, add a little bit of grass. I'm just, just, just trying to decide how high I want that grass to be. And I think it's gonna be kind of short grass. They're big snails and some short grass. them a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Do you have a little Rorschach, Rorschach drawing? <laughs>